Welcome to Homeschool with me. Today we're going to be reviewing Saxon Math. So today's level that I'm going to review for Saxon Math is level K for kindergarten. I usually start it around pre-K to kindergarten, those age groups. And let me pull it out and show it to you. Okay? All right, so level K, you will get a teacher book. And um, this is called, they call it their meeting books. Now, some people are like back and forth on whether they do their meeting books. I like to do the meeting book. The way that Saxon Math works is it's very manipulative based. They have a manipulative kit. You guys can head on back and watch some of my math manipulatives that I use. I don't actually buy the kit from Saxon Math. I kind of piece it together. I will list below all of the manipulatives you will need for level K, but mostly for level K you will need counting bears, Linking cue. We'll link all the ones you actually need for this level because the Saxon Math Manipulative Kit actually covers level K through 3, which is totally fine. And if you want to buy the Manipulative Kit, there's nothing wrong with it. It's $100. I've just always kind of found that I can piece my Manipulative Kit together for a little bit less than $100. And also, I don't have to buy, um, if I remember correctly, you do not need a scale for level K. I will double check, so make sure you check the comments because I will list all the manipulatives you will need for level K, but I just don't like having, when you're on a budget and you're trying to make things work, buying a $100 manipulative kit where you're only gonna use three of the manipulatives that year seems a little bit pricey. And I also like to find kind of my own take on things sometimes. So I'll list below some of the manipulatives I've bought for level K, and I also will list the link to the Saxon Math Manipulative Kit if you want to buy that as well because it has everything you will need through level K through 3. So, the way that Saxon Math works. Every day, you open up to this. This is lesson 1. The way they do this is it will tell you what materials you need for this lesson and then any prep you need to do beforehand before you sit down if you're more organized than me, because I usually just open it, read it, and <laughs> prep it while we're sitting there. Um, so the first thing is called the meeting. The meeting is where you get out your meeting book. So each level has kind of different things they do in their meeting book, but for level K, they have a calendar. You will do patterning on the calendar. You'll also learn the days of the week, the month, the year, um, and also dates. You're also going to learn right here, ordinal position, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and you fill it out, and you do it in a different pattern, which it tells you to do in the book. The nice thing apart about Saxon Math is everything is listed out in the book. So I will give you an example of the way that it's worded. Open the meeting book to September's calendar. It tells you that, okay? <laughs> and then... It'll have like in bold what you're supposed to say to your student. So this is called a calendar. We use a calendar to tell us the month, year, day of the week, and the date. Then they're gonna say, point to the month, year, days of the week, and the dates. That's obviously not said, it's just giving you directions of what you should do. Point to the month at the top of the calendar. Then you're going to say, this is the month of September. Where else do you see September on this page? So it literally spells exactly what you're supposed to say to your student. Now, I am not always the best at staying on track all the time, and they do have months listed in here. Obviously, you can start at any point during the year. The only thing is their calendar book, it doesn't have, their calendar book does not have August and July in it. So if you are going to start in August and July, you might have to like, copy and do stuff. The way that I use Saxon Math is I copy this. I copy both sides and tape it together and it folds in half, put it in the book. So I don't actually color on these just because I think this book was $10 and it's not that big a deal, but I like to have them on hand for the next kid. I don't necessarily want to lose the book, so I copy it. Not a big deal. Also, our little baby's with us today. He's hanging out with mom. Say hi. That's the morning meeting. That's the first half of math. The second half of math is going to be exploring pattern blocks. So the other part is exploring pattern blocks. Lesson will be the same, written out the exact same way as the meeting, where it's today you're going to learn about a math manipulator called pattern blocks. Level K is extremely slow. It builds, the way that science and math is it builds mathematical thinking. So at the end of K, you're not going to be doing one plus one written down. It's more 
an introduction into how to think mathematically. And so when you do that, it makes the other levels a little bit easier. It also is a really fun introduction to math. I like it. It's very hands-on. It's very manipulative based and I really recommend it for those kids that are just starting out in math. It also has like these checkpoints in it. It's called an oral assessment. And so you can say account as high as you can by ones to 25 to 50 to 100 to 130. Okay? So that's how far they would like them to be able to count at the end of Saxon math. Um, K. They also will count by tens. So if your kid is counting by tens, fives, um, can count to a hundred, um, can count backwards simply, has all those basic things, I would say to go straight to level one. I wouldn't recommend level K. There are placement tests, which I will link below so you can tell which kind, but I do like Saxon Math K. It's very manipulative based. If you are worried about being able to teach your kid math, this spells out math so easily. It's just literally open up and read. Like if you're not good at math, this is a great curriculum to teach them because you don't have to figure it out. They figure it out for you. If I review Saxon Math K, I definitely would recommend it. Grab all this stuff below. I will list all the manipulatives you need for this level below. Um, like this video if you want more videos like this. Comment below if you have any questions about Saxon Math. And also make sure and subscribe so you don't miss it because I'm going to do a review of all the other levels of Saxon Math K that we have done. So make sure and subscribe. Press the subscribe button. It's right down here, I think, is where it is. And then also, if you are subscribed, make sure you hit the notification bell on my channel so you get notified when a new video shows up.